Today I'm going to describe the steps of the pilonidal cleft lift procedure. Uh, it's a procedure first described by John Bascom uh, in Oregon uh, and we've modified it a little bit to, to suit our technical skill as well as working with plastic surgeons specifically on how to best do this for recurrent disease. The incision is always created so there's a as close to an ellipse as possible and the ellipse is always uh, staggered off the midline so that the final product will be an incision that's off midline. The incision is always made with a 15 blade just for precision. We use a, a needle tip cautery uh, for precision to get into the subcutaneous tissues uh, and then we excise the cyst basically looking for the area of disease. So we want to leave normal fat behind and we want to uh, remove the infected tissue, which is typically either purple uh, or brown in color. Uh, in this case, you can see that the tissue is a little bit white because there's some scar there. So the sinus tract is actually a little bit off to uh, the patient's left side of midline. So this is quite tricky. So this is good from an educational standpoint to notice that we make tiny little, um, do you have a skin hook? So we've got just, you know, we've got a little bit more complicated than um, I anticipated because of the recurrence. And so I'm just opening up widely to get us into nice healthy tissues. And over here, it's a little hard for me to tell whether we're looking at scar, maybe an Army-Navy even. 